Product tab is where to set up material schedule list for a commercial project. Items can be set up in two simple ways, depending on your business practice and project bidding stages. One way is to load items directly from main product and service database. Click on Add from Database icon, navigate to any folder to locate items. Double click on items to add them into project item list. Continue on until all project items are added. Then close the window. This way is good for items that are repeatedly used in various projects. The second way to set up items that are specific to this particular project and there is no need to save them into the main database, click on Add New Item to create the item list. Then configure each item to match its estimating properties. For beginners, use this approach to set up your material schedule. Click on Add New Item button to add as many items as needed. It may include main covering products such as carpet, sheet vinyl, VCT, ceramic tile, as well as add-on items such as wall base, transition, heat rod, and so on. Next step is to configure each item in the list based on its estimating properties. Follow these steps when configuring an item. First, double click on the SKU number and style code column to set product name. Make sure this name is unique across the project. Next, double click on layout type column. To select its layout properly, this step is critical and must be set up properly to get correct estimate results. For regular row sheet goods such as carpet, and sheet vinyl, select carpet or vinyl. But for square shaped products including carpet tile, vinyl tile, ceramic tile, select its layout type as tile instead. For installation add-on items such as wall base, underlinement, heat welding rod, transition, etc., select add-on as its layout type. If it is a labor service or freight, select labor or freight so these items can be placed properly in the worksheet and forms at a later stage. Next proceed to the unit column, another key estimating property. For area based products, select square yard, square foot. For linear products, use linear footage, LF. For count items, use each. For grout, use quart, QT, pound, LB, or liter. Then proceed to width and size column to set material width or sizes. If it is a tile shape item, select from the pull down list. If desired size combinations are not on the pull down list, type in the size numbers. Product display color. This color will be shown on the diagram when this product is applied to a room. It will also be used for the legend icon at the report printout. Pull down and select it from the list. Then proceed to setting sales and cost prices or set them to one if only material usage quantities are of a concern. Most of the estimating properties of a product can be set up in this way. To access a complete view of a product estimating properties, right click over the row, set view modified command, or click edit button on the ribbon to open a detailed item editing window. 
This is needed when setting up a pattern carpet or associating add-on items with this product. For example, a wall base item may be associated with a carpet product and a sheet vinyl may be associated with a heat rod item. Here is how to associate heat welding rod with a sheet vinyl. Left click to select sheet vinyl. Click on edit icon to open property edit window. Under product add-ons selection, click on add button. Upon the popping up window, navigate to find heat welding item. Select it and click OK. Now the heat welding item is added to the add-on table. Click OK to close the window. In this way, whenever the sheet vinyl is applied, the heat rod gets applied to whenever the seam goes. The linear footage of the heat rod gets calculated automatically. Material schedule list can be saved as a template and be loaded for new jobs. This is useful and a time saver for similar types of commercial jobs. Use Save Template icon to save and name a template and use Load Template icon and select a template file to load it into a project item table. After the product list is completed, move to the Takeoff tab. The material schedule items are now listed under project items list on the left panel. Right click over the project items folder to pop up a command menu to manipulate the project items list. For example, to sort the list by alphabetic order, to add items, remove items, etc. Refer to user guide for a complete description of each command.